just look at this view. This is what I've been waking up to every morning since staying here at Shangri-La Paris. Shangri-La brand is of course known for its signature hospitality, but with a view like this, it's really easy to see why it's one of the most desired destinations for luxury accommodation here in Paris. Besides for being the only hotel with such short proximity to the Eiffel Tower, where most of its rooms and suites have access to this gorgeous view, it's also just a short stroll away from the famous Champs-Élysées and L'Arc de Triomphe. What I find really interesting about Parisian luxury hotels is that even large chain hotels are housed in these beautiful old buildings with plenty of history, and this one is no exception. Built in the 18th century, this house was commissioned and occupied for many years by Prince Roland Bonaparte, the little nephew of none other but Emperor Napoleon Bonaparte. Upon Prince's death, his daughter sold the house and in 2008 it was purchased by the Shangri-La Group. It took a few years to renovate the 101 rooms and suites for the 2010 opening. And something that you absolutely have to know about Shangri-La rooms is that they have some of the biggest beds I have ever seen in my entire life. They're literally two and a half meters wide. So what does one do when they stay at Shangri-La Paris? There's a very special place where I like to start my morning and I'm going to show it to you in just a moment. So this is that special place that I was telling you about, the pool. And the thing is with luxury pools is that they're usually hidden somewhere in the basement. They're very dark and relaxing and romantic. But what I absolutely love about this one is that it's so bright and it's so well lit. This spa is actually one of the most lightened in Paris. So as you see, they wanted to, the color to be white because they weren't thinking about the pure, uh, the serene environment. So that's why they wanted to access all the marbles and every details that you see to really make it clear. And for those who love to pamper themselves, there are plenty of treatments that you would normally find in a five-star hotel. Shangri-La Paris will of course organize a fabulous ride for you but if you prefer to hang out with the locals and maybe do a bit of exploring on your own the closest metro station is Metro Lena and it's only a couple of minutes away from the hotel. Another five minute stroll from the hotel and you will find yourself in the middle of Trocadero Square. It's famous for a few reasons. The fountain that just faces the Eiffel Tower, a large train station and hidden gem of Paris, Le Petisserie Carrette. Here you will find an abundance of scrumptious desserts, great lunch menu and plenty of locals. way to spend your afternoon away from hustle and bustle is just stroll along the banks of River Seine and really soak in this Parisian atmosphere. The cocktail is absolutely delicious but now I'm starving so I can't wait to see what the menu has to offer at La Bouigna, one of the main restaurants here at Shangri-La. The menu is in French, but you can always ask for an English version, like in most of the restaurants and cafes here in Paris. Bonsoir, madame. Good evening, madame, and welcome to La Bohemia. First chef has a fabulous veal uh, gremolata ribeye steak, stuffed with tomato concassé, cherry tomatoes, and a fabulous veal juice on the side. Too good to be talking, so I'm going to start eating. As I mentioned, the house used to belong to Prince Roland Bonaparte, and as one would expect, the house would be pretty spectacular. So check out the staircase and the room it leads to is one of the most amazing rooms I have ever seen in my entire life. Let's go upstairs. Welcome to the Grand Salon. Now, this is what you call a reception room. The Parisians actually call it Litter Versailles because it looks like the ballroom of Versailles. And a lot of weddings take place here, a lot of very special occasions, so if you feel like venturing out of Australia and doing something special in Paris, I think there's just no better place to do it but here. Bonsoir, 